morning, everyone. Can anyone tell me why I'm wearing white today? Because that's, because that's how Jesus wears. Because that's how Jesus wears it? No, not exactly. Uh, what else? Because it's um, the starting of the year. Starting of the year, no. Father Albert? Yeah, Father Albert has nothing to do with him. <laughs> do you know why I wear white? No. What? So what color represents martyrdom? Red. I know I got a little red here, but that's a trim. That's not the color. White is the color. So if red means martyrdom, what does green mean? Any idea? Ordinary time. Ordinary time, where things are, well, ordinary. So, what might white represent? You know? Lent? No. What color represents Lent? Purple. Purple, yeah. So, not Lent. What do you think white represents? Okay. Do you know, or are you just raising your hand? No, it doesn't represent communion. So <clears throat> we have in the liturgical year, we have a myriad of fe feast days, right? So we have feasts for martyrs, <clears throat> which is red. Then we have green, which is for just regular days where there's nothing special going on, nothing special or out of the ordinary. And then we also have, I mean, purple for Lent, and then we have I think there's a special name for the color we use for Advent. And then Christmas. What, do I, what color do I wear at Christmas and Easter? White. white. So why might I be wearing white today? Mary. Because of Mary. I know that's a big jump from Easter and Christmas to Mary. But yes, because what is today that we're celebrating? Mary's birthday. Very good. Do we, so the white today is representing a feast day. And we go up, and so the next one up would be a solemnity, and we have ranks and all this stuff. Anyways, today we're selling them a feast day, which is the birthday of Mary. How many birthdays do we celebrate in the church? Yes, three. Do you know what birthdays they are for who? Joseph, Mary, and Jesus? No, you got two of those. So Mary and Jesus, definitely, obviously. Today's Mary's birthday. Jesus is on what day? Christmas. Christmas, December 25th. There's one other special feast day, birthday, that we celebrate. Do you know it? Going to a different class. No, not going to a different class. Do you know whose birthday we celebrate? God's. God's. We celebrate his every day, but he wasn't born. John the Baptist, very good. So those are the three that we celebrate, the three birthdays in the church we celebrate. Jesus, Mary, and John the Baptist. That was just random trivia. Anyways, so we're celebrating Mary's birthday today. What's so special about Mary? Mother of Jesus. And so what did she do? She said yes to God. <clears throat> what else? You don't know? Yeah, she ascended into heaven. Well, it was assumed, different word, but same idea. Gave birth to Jesus. She brought Jesus into the world, right? It was through her, yes, but also through her, herself, that she brought Christ into the world. That's why Mary is so important, her yes and her willingness to give birth and to bring Christ into the world. And it's this special place she held in history that is so important because it's her that brought Christ in the world. It wasn't anyone else. It wasn't Elizabeth. It wasn't Ruth. It wasn't any of these other women in the Bible. It was Mary. And so the important question we have to ask today 
is how can we bring Christ in the world? How can we be like Mary by bringing Christ in the world? What can we do? She gives Christ to us. She gives Christ to us. Yes, actually, that's theologically correct. Isn't it? We can um, go to Mass every day and tell the, uh, 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 tell other people about Jesus. Yeah. Um, and how she made the world a better place. Yeah, you can go to Mass every day and tell people about Mary. Good. What are some concrete things you can do maybe in your class? We can accept Jesus, yeah, to mimic her, yes. What else can we do? What are some things we can do? Help somebody else, yes, very much. I can only imagine how often this mother of Jesus was helping other people all the time. So we can too. Praying for others, yes, because that's literally what she does right now. What else? Helping people, yeah. You got some? Love Jesus, yes, very good. What else can we do? Follow the virtues. What's this month's virtue? I didn't want you to yell it out. I got to take her hand. Faith. Very good. So faith means, anyone know what faith means? Believing. Praying. Being honest. Okay. So how else can we give honor to Mary? Let's go to the back one. What do you got? Be kind, never sin. Very good, yeah. Sinning's bad. Being an example for other people, for maybe younger classmates or something, younger schoolmates. What else? Don't litter, yeah, definitely. Especially use those new trash cans, right? How else can we give honor to Mary? What can we do? Say it again. Yeah, you can say sorry if you've offended somebody. Did you have your hand up? Role model, yeah. What do you got? You can cheer people up if they're sad, if they're hurt. Yeah. All right, last one. Go to confession every week, yeah? It's a lot of confession. I mean, at least once a month is good. Every week, then the priests start to get overwhelmed and we gotta <laughs> add more confession times. All right, no more, we're good. All right, so. All right, fine, fine, hurry up. What do you got? Faith in someone is when you believe someone. Faith is when you believe someone, absolutely, good job. All right. So Mary is a special person in our faith life, right? She gave birth to Christ. She said yes, her, her fiat, her, she is the mother of God. And today we celebrate her birthday. And so it's important then that when we, when our own mothers have birthdays, right, we usually give them something. We do something for them. Especially for young, we don't really have money to buy gifts, so we do something for mom on her birthday. So I want you to think about what you can do for, your, for our spiritual mother, Mary, on her birthday. Could be a Hail Mary, could be a rosary if you do that, could be a decade if you do that. Further in the back, I think decades and rosaries are probably really good. Um, but for us, maybe a Hail Mary. Maybe picking up trash that you see and doing it in honor of Mary. Maybe complimenting your teacher on the great job that they're doing in honor of Mary, any number of things. So think about it, pray about it, and do it.